guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, my name is Millie, welcome to my channel. I'm the person behind Mink Lettering and I bring you studio vlogs, tutorials, lots of lovely fun content like that. So today we are going to be, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I love bright colours, I love blending and I love pens. So this is a super exciting video. For today's video, we're going to be blending the Karin Brush Marker Pro pens. When I first bought these, I did a swatch test video and I was obsessed. They are so juicy and lovely. And juicy pens are the perfect pens for blending. So the lovely people at Karin Markers have actually kindly gifted a giveaway prize for this video and I am so excited about it. So the prize for this giveaway is one of these bad boys. So this is the Karen Brush Marker Pro Mega Plus box. So it's got 72 pens, including neon pens, and it's worth over 150 pounds, which is why I'm so excited about this giveaway prize. I'll be sharing more information at the end of this video on how you can enter this giveaway. Let's dive in to the video and I'm gonna show you how you can blend these pens in a variety of different ways. Let's do it. So before I dive into any of the blending tutorials, I'm just gonna show you some of the tools and equipment that I'm using today. First up, of course, I have the Karen Brush Marker Pro. So this is the Mega Plus box, as I've already mentioned, and it's got lots of beautiful colors in it. There's also some neon colors on the right-hand side. I won't be using those in today's video, but I do have another video planned for these later on, which I'm super excited about. I am going to be doing all my blending on some smooth watercolor paper. I'm using watercolor paper because these pens are super juicy, so it works really well with mixing the colors and the paper is quite durable, but I'm making sure it's smooth watercolor paper so the tips of the nibs don't fray at all if it's too textured. Although I have found that the Karen Brushmark Pro tips are very durable. Then I also have two paint brushes. So this one is just a normal paint brush with a flat edge. And then I've also got a water brush as well. Next to me, I also have a scrap piece of paper. This is gonna come in really handy when we're doing lots of different blending techniques. I also have a ceramic plate dish. This I'm using as a paint palette later on. If you just have a normal paint palette that is clean, then that works fine. Unfortunately, all my paint palettes are pretty messy at the moment. I also have a little glass of water to the side, and this is gonna be especially useful for one of the blending techniques. And I also have my very colorful painting cloth, which I use just to basically dry off paintbrushes and make sure that the colors are off as well. So the first blending technique that I have for you today is super simple. You just need two Karen pens. So even if you don't have the big set, you just have a smaller set. This is really gonna work for you. So first up, you will need two different colors, ideally a slightly darker one and a lighter one. So I have gone for magenta red, also canary. So for this first method, what I'm simply gonna do is color in the tip. Now there's a couple of ways you could do that. You could just hold the tips together like this, and then the ink from the red will soak into the ink from the yellow, as you can see. What I quite like to do, because I do calligraphy, is I actually like to color in the side of the pen like this, and you can hold it down a little bit longer just to let the ink seep in. Now, because these are liquid water-based pens, you don't need to worry about ruining the tip, and I will show you how to get rid of this red staining after we've done a bit of blending. So now I'm gonna take the canary yellow pen and we're just gonna write with it. So these are great for brush lettering just because they have the flexible tip, but you can use them for coloring as well. But I just absolutely love blending with these. How beautiful does that look? So you can see here that it started off with the red and it's blended out to the yellow. Because these pens are so juicy, this transition is so smooth and it just looks stunning. Now you'll see on the tip that there is still some red on here and that's what our scrap paper is for. So every time you do any sort of blending, I really recommend just taking a scrap piece of paper 
and just colouring on it. And you can see that that colour is starting to come off. Sometimes you might get a tiny bit of staining left over, but it's not going to affect the colour of the pen at all. So let's do that with some other colours. So the colours I've blended here, the red and the yellow, work really well together because they're on a similar part of the colour spectrum. But what happens if we blend two quite different colours? So for this next blend, I'm going to be taking the Cool Aqua and also the Magenta. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing I did previously. And because the blue is slightly lighter, I'm going to colour in that nib instead. You will find that some of the blue ink will pick up on the pink ink. And if you don't intend to use that pen, that's fine. Once you've done your calligraphy or colouring in or anything like that, just go onto the scrap piece of paper and give it a little scribble. So you can see it started off with this pink and it's kind of like a purpley colour and looks so nice. And then it's just going down into the light blue. How beautiful does that look? So that would be really good for things like colouring in as well. And actually, if we take the pink pen, we can see it started off with a little bit of purple and then it's going down into the pink. So you can see why we tend to use the lighter colour pen to do the blending and fill that in with the dark colour pen. As the blue hasn't shown up as much here, but if you just wanted to add a subtle bit of shading, then that's a great way of doing it. And again, I'm just going to go on this scrap piece of paper and make sure all the ink is off. It probably looks like I'm wasting a lot of ink by doing this, but I've had this set for well over a year and I can't say any of the pens have gone down in ink at all. So if you can see, there's a slight bubble where the air is in this barrel of the pen and all the ink in there is liquid ink and pretty much all of them are still full up, even though I've done lots of blending. So another way you could do this direct blending method is actually by using your ceramic dish or plate or paint palette, whichever you've got. So for this method, I'm going to use the Arctic Blue, the Royal Blue and the Magenta Red. What I'm going to do is use the Arctic Blue to do my calligraphy, but I'm going to pick up multiple colours. So I want to pick up some of this red and some of this blue. So all you need to do is scribble on your ceramic dish. So if I just take my pen and pick it up with this, you can see some of the red ink has transferred and I'm gonna pick up some of the blue as well. If we write the word hello again, you can see it's got some red tones in there and you can always go back in and dip and pick up some more. So we've got the blue in there again. And I just want a little bit more red. So you can get really creative with how you blend these pens together. Just from mixing a few of the inks together, whether it's nib to nib or using a little paint palette dish like this, you can get so many cool effects. So the next method of blending these Karen Brush Marker Pros is using this pen, which is called a blender pen. And as you can see, there is ink in this barrel, but it's a clear ink. And that means that we can use the ink in this barrel to blend different colors together. It looks exactly the same as all the other pens, except for the nib is just a plain white. And if I were to write anything, you can see there's nothing coming out, although I can see a little bit of wetness on the paper. So basically, it's a clear ink that's perfect for blending. In this Mega Plus box, you get three blending pens. I really like the fact that it comes with three pens because that means that if I'm doing a variety of different colours all at the same time, then I can have a dedicated blender pen for all of the different types of blending that I'm doing. So it's great if I'm doing a massive lettering piece. So there's a couple of different ways that we can use this pen. So if I take a light color again, so this is apple and I'm going to take a dark color. So this is ocean teal. So this time I'm going to color separately on the piece of paper, firstly with this light color, and then I'm going to go in with this dark color and just do it next to it. And then with the blender pen, you can go in and this clear ink will help blend the colours together. 
which is just really cool. You can even mix colors with it. So if I were to put down this light green again, and then I decided that I wanted a little bit darker, what I could do is just pop a little bit of that green in the center and then blend it out. So this is a really good way to adding little bits of shading to your lettering or if you're doing any coloring in or any sort of art really. And just like the other pens, just to get rid of some of that ink on this blender pen, I'm just going on the scrap piece of paper and wiping it off. Okay, so next is my absolute favorite way of using this pen. And that is using it in a similar way that we've done with the previous pens by coloring in the tip. So this is gonna be our light base. So for this method, I'm going to use the cyan and the red lilac. So firstly, I'm just coloring in this side of the blender pen, and then I'm gonna take the blue. So what I like about this is it starts to blend together on the pen, but because I've done half and half, you get a really cool effect. So we've got some of the blue there. You can see some of the pink coming through as well. Now, because this pen has a clear ink, what it actually does is ends up making it slightly pastel in color after a few strokes. And I absolutely love that effect. So you can actually use it for creating shading. So if I just go back in just with the blue, and again, just did some scribbles. You can see it starts off quite pigmented and then it goes to pastel. And I absolutely love that effect. What it means is this blender pen increases the range of color. If you want some pastel colors or to do light shading, then you can use this blender pen to really add depth, which is so cool. So you can see that a lot of this ink has come off the pen, but it's still staining the pen nib. That's totally fine. It will eventually go completely clear, but you might just have a bit of staining on the pen nib. So don't worry too much about that. Let's do another colorway. So for this, we're gonna go a little bit crazy. We're gonna add a few different colors onto this. And I've never done this before. I haven't added too many. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this pale violet and then I'm adding some of this magenta. I'm going to add some of this cool aqua. Let's go crazy and add a little bit of yellow to it as well. Some red too. So now if I were to write, you can see that it's created a rainbow of colors. And what you can do is when you're writing is to twist the pen around. So you can just get all of these different colors. And because I haven't saturated it too much, it has gone pastel quite quickly, but you can always just add more colors to it. But how beautiful is that? Look at all those colors. They are absolutely stunning. If you want to keep it a little bit more saturated so it doesn't go pastel too quickly, then you can always use this method again where you use a ceramic dish or a paint palette and you just color in a few little swatches. So I'm just going to add these now. So I've just got a rainbow of colors here now and I'm just going to pick some up and just keep adding some color. So I might just go over some of the strokes multiple times. And that's how you can create some really fun rainbow lettering. It's important to consider colors that you're mixing. So you can see here that the yellow has gone a little bit of a muddy color and that's just because I still had some of the purple on my pen. So if you want to be careful with colors you're mixing, just remember to go over to your scrap piece of paper if you want to get rid of any color. And then you can always go back in and pick up some of that ink and go back in and just brighten it up a little bit. 
So for the third method of blending, we are gonna be using some water. So because these pens have a liquid water-based ink, it means you can kind of use them like watercolors and I absolutely love doing this. For these tutorials, I'm gonna be using a mixture of a normal paintbrush, which I'll be dipping in water. And I also have a water brush pen as well. And this just has a barrel that's already filled with water. So it just makes it a little bit easier. I've also got a slightly larger brush so I can show you how to create watercolor backgrounds as well. There's a couple of different ways that we can use water to blend these pens. So the first way is very simple, just like some of the other blending techniques we've done, you can do it directly on to the paper. And I'm just gonna take my normal paintbrush. Oh, it's got a little bit of pink on there. So let's wipe that off with my trusty cloth. Now I'm just gonna go in and paint very lightly with this paintbrush. And you can see it brings the ink to life a little bit and it's blending them together. So this is great if you want to create a watercolor effect with your blending. And if you find that some of the pigment has picked up a little bit, you can always just go quite lightly in with the pen just to add a little bit more pigment. So now let's do that with a little bit of calligraphy. So if I write the word Hey, just going to add in a little bit more darkness. And what I'm doing is just putting it towards the tops of these letters. And you can see that it is actually blending it quite nicely already, just because I've worked quite quickly with this. I'm just gonna go in with my water brush and just pull it down a little bit. And this just gives me a little bit more control so if you have quite detailed areas, then you can get quite a small paintbrush and you can see I'm just pulling it through. So this method is great on these thinner strokes where I just want a little bit more control with the blending. So if you want to do a couple of different colors, then you can always use a palette again. So now if I take my water brush, what I can actually do is add a little bit of water to that and it's lightened it up so it's made it quite a pastel color obviously the more water you add to it the lighter it will get you can even start mixing some of these colors together so they can act just like watercolors so you can see i'm mixing these two together and then i can paint with them now if i just want a little bit more pigment i can go in with that and can you see it it's acting very similar to watercolors so especially using watercolor paper you can really add some lovely detail so now i'm just going to go in with the blue and this is where the pigmented colors really come to life when it comes to mixing using water so i'm obviously doing this with my own calligraphy but if you want to do something like florals then you totally could. So I'm just going to add a little bit more yellow to here. And you can see where the blue and the yellow are mixing, it's creating a lovely green color. So if I just wanted to do some florals, let's say. to add a little bit of purple into this so you can see how working with these pens really acts like watercolors so another fun thing you can do with water and blending these pens is create watercolor backgrounds so what I'm going to do is take this really big paintbrush and I'm just going to saturate the page. And then you could go in and you could just lightly touch with some of this ink. You may find that you see a few ink lines, but what you could always do is you could go back to your paint palette and pick up some color there as well. 
And you can see this is really nice and pastel, but if you want to make it a little bit more pigmented, you can. So for example, I could take the pen and just add a little bit more color to it. You do need to work quite quickly with this just so you don't get stroke marks from the pen. If I went in with some of the yellow up here, you can see that these are blending together really nicely. Just want to add a little bit more pigment onto this here. So you can see we're getting quite a nice washed background. So if you're using darker colours, just be mindful that you might see some of the strokes, but obviously you can build up the colour just to hide that a little bit. How beautiful does that look? There we go. A few different ways to blend these Karen Brush Marker Pro pens. Now let's get down into the giveaway because I'm sure you're super excited about how you could win some of these pens and try out this blending for yourself. All you need to do is pop in the comments below your two favorite colors that you like blending or that you see me blend today. Please can you also pop an Instagram handle as that's just an easier way of getting hold of you. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and also head over to Instagram and follow me, which is at Blink Lettering and Karen, which is at Karen Markers. This giveaway is open internationally, which is amazing, but you do need to be over 18 to apply. The giveaway is going to run for a whole month, so it will close on the 18th of May at 11.59pm UK time. I will be selecting a winner completely at random and I'll be contacting them on Instagram before I announce it anywhere. Just a reminder, the prize you will win is this massive Karen Brush Marker Pro Mega Plus box, which is huge. You've got all the beautiful colors that I've been using today in this video. So you'll be able to recreate all the blending techniques that I've shown you. Massive thank you to Karen Marcus for kindly gifting this giveaway prize. It is such a good prize. I'm really excited about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and it's got you excited to start blending some pretty colors together. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you head over to the comments section to enter the giveaway. Details on entering the giveaway will also be in the description. And I'm going to leave a link to the Karen Markers website just so you can find out a little bit more about these pens. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye! Thank you.